I don't even get mad at shit like this, huh? Alvin. You've been yeah, around a long time, my nigga. I, I, need, I need answers. I need to understand who Seeds is playing Nintendo with. I can't figure this one out. I myself. need to know I who Seeds is playing Nintendo yeah, with. Seeds. Somebody, somebody, somebody wake that nigga the fuck up. Get that nigga on the phone. Seeds, go on the phone, Seeds. Who you playing Nintendo with? Exactly. Yeah, Nintendo Man, Nintendo 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 made a statement about it. A lot of people got to realize, though, of course, when, you know, Mano was singing a big song, he used to be actually part of, you know, Kim Crew back in the day, so a lot of people don't realize that. Plus, not only that, he from New York, so, I mean, if you're from New York, you got to know Big's lyrics. As for Rich Homie Kwan, he from the South. Not 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 putting nothing past Big's, but he is a legend, but at the end of the day, I mean, you know, if you're from the South, you look up to more South people. So you know what I'm saying? He he might not necessarily just been, you know, really on Biggie like that, especially from the era he came from. Let's not forget that Rich Homie Kwan came from a different era or whatnot, you know. Now he is a part of hip hop right now, but do he have to go back and, and relearn his history? But at the end of the day, if you're doing something big like that on, on VH1, you should have practiced, of course, a few times or whatnot. Maybe he felt like he had the down pack, and then when he got there, you know, being on stage, rapping someone else's lyrics kind of made him nervous. You never know what went down. So, you know what I'm saying? So, anyway, hit me up, 318 if you want to work with Baby Savage. Follow me on Instagram, at Baby Savage Gotta Grind. Let's work.